Hello everybody and welcome to another video. Uh, my last video I talked about the ICU. And so this one, uh, in between ICU and when you get ready to leave there, you'll be going to rehab hospital. And so in my case, you know, I was in ICU for a week. And so there's these little adjustments you have to get used to. Um, and so if you, you know, if you happen to have just had a stroke or your family member has, there's some things you'll have to get kind of adjust to. And that will just continue like on into the rehab hospital. So anyway, I see you. I was there a week. And starting on the second day, you start adjusting a little bit to the reality of what's happened. And uh, so, like I said, I've said before, most stroke victims, one side's paralyzed, the arm and the leg. Um, so for me, you know, absolutely no movement, no feeling or anything, sensation, anything like that. Uh, there was a little occasional electrical uh, impulses or something going on but you know other than that that's pretty much it so one of the first adjustments is um i call it your new best friend they call it gate belt so, um in icu you're not gonna move around a, a lot anyway i mean they may get you out of bed and put you in a wheelchair uh to, like to go into the bathroom maybe or they'll use the bedpan with you and that's the other adjustment is just bathroom um in the book I'm writing, I mentioned about modesty. You know, some people are very modest and it might bother bother them with someone helping them go to the bathroom, but you know, that's where you're at. And uh, so that's one of the things you have to get used to. So another, so a side issue with me was like dehydration. I found myself drinking all the time, I'm just drinking water and that resulted in having to go to, you know, the bathroom break every couple of hours. So that was another adjustment there. Uh, another thing uh, with stroke, uh, most of us have speech issues. Uh, mine has gotten a whole lot better than from when I first had the stroke. But so uh, you, you know, your voice gets tired. You'll notice later in the day you're not clear, or earlier in the day you're, you're able to talk a little better. And some people may not be able to talk well at all. It takes some time to get used to. Another thing is vision. So every time the docs came in, they asked me how, how my vision was. They were really concerned about vision because a lot of stroke victims have vision issues. I didn't think I had a vision issue, but I did notice over in the rehab hospital, like after I was there about a week or two, uh, the glare was bothered. So I, I, I did have it, even though I didn't realize it. Same thing with speech, a lot of, a lot of stroke victims, I you know, got to know when I was in, uh, in patient therapy, uh, you don't know you have a speech problem. So sometimes you have these issues that you don't know you have, but you know, so that's another issue, the speech, the vision. And uh, chewing, which goes back to the speech thing, because uh, you, know, you know, different nerves and muscles and stuff get affected with a stroke. So, uh, you know, you may have problems chewing. And, you know, like for me, the left side of my face, uh, you know, most stroke victims, one side or the other, you know, the face, the numbness, or you can't tell, you can't feel. And so even though you're chewing, you don't, you cannot feel it. I, there's other ways to describe it, but it's basically, that's another issue you might have is chewing and swallowing, okay? And that's why, so you're kind of considered a choke hazard too. So that's the other thing. And so with you, you're, you have a new diet while you're in ICO and you go over to the rehab hospital, same thing there, a new diet. Um, they probably have, they call it puree, puree. I'm saying it wrong, but anyway, it's a it's soft diet, you know, so you only get soft foods. And there's some exceptions in that, but, um, you know, where, and somebody usually, they want someone to watch you uh, when you're chewing, just in case you don't choke. Same thing with pills. Uh, like in me, I was taking four or five pills at a time, but not not together, you know, you take one at a time because again, choking has it. You know, I'll tell you, if, you know, a lot of people are in the habit of just popping all of them, but after a stroke, you you choke yourself if you try that. So, and then another thing is um, another side effect of a stroke is the emotions. I call it the emotions are coming because you may not realize it uh, that your wiring has been uh, burnt or re and you know it's getting rewired. And sometimes some people's emotions are getting real off. You either get you know, you get angry, sad, mad, whatever you want to call it, or you just, you know, you might even cry about things, you know, if you're not a crier. So, so that's just things that, you know, that are some of the adjustments. The other thing, and 
is that yeah, you've had a stroke. I had a stroke, but I can't. I had this little epiphany after I was after I was over in the rehab hospital about a few three four days. So a week and a half after the stroke, about as I use the term, you are not the only victim. Uh, your family is also a victim of the stroke, even though they didn't physically have it, because they one day, depending on your personality, they have to put up with you. Uh, but also, you've scared them to death. So, like in my case, or, or with my wife, Debbie, you know, I, I scared her to death. You know, it was a scary. Like in my previous videos, uh, videos I mentioned how you know the process there when she called the ambulance and everything. But it was for her, it was very scary. And so, again, family members are scared. You know, kids, fam everybody who's involved with you. So uh, that's just something to keep in mind. That um, you know, remember your family members. You know, are also having some emotional issues over your situation. All right. These, all these little things here in this video are just about adjustments. Now from here, you head over to rehab hospital and you'll still have those adjustments. They're not going to go away. So, but anyway, so that's it for now. And until uh, next video, thank you for checking in.